Tedimbo's utterances contributed to Buhari's unwillingness to support him for president. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. President Muhammad Buhari's seeming I do not care attitude towards the 2023 presidential election is causing anxiety in the ruling all progressives Congress, especially among the supporters of Asiwaji Bola Tenembo, the party's presidential candidate. With just a few weeks to the election to do to take place on February 25th, 2023, some of Tenembo's loyalists believe the presidency is not doing much in terms of support and logistics for the party's presidential election. Last month, the president said Nigerians should vote for whoever they like from whichever political party during the 2023 general elections. While members of the opposition parties have hailed the president for his statement, some Tenembo supporters did not find it funny. Speaking with Daily Independent, an all-progressive Congress chief team and member of the Tenembo support organization, TSO, who spoke on condition of anonymity, said they had hoped President Buhari would do much in conversing support for Tenembo especially in the northern parts of the country where he, Buhari, has a court followership, but that is not happening. Of course, you cannot compare the support the president is giving to Asiwaju to what the former president, Ulusha Gobasanjo, gave to the late Omar Yeredwa in 2007. Obasanjo campaigned with Yeredwa across the country, but that is not happening now. It is Asiwaju that has been using a vast political network to gain a support for himself. Much more support is coming from the presidency. I think the president should do more. Asiwaji made a lot of made a lot in his campaign to become president in 2015. Even in 2019, when the party was in crisis and Buhari's re-selection was under threat, he called Asiwaji to reconcile the party, and he did an excellent job. On a spot, a former member of the All Progressive Congress National Working Committee, NWC, from one of the South of State, believed that Tinubu utterances may have contributed to the president's unwillingness to throw himself fully behind this aspiration. I really cannot say the president is not supporting him. If you remember, in June, he donated his campaign office to Tinubu shortly after he won the presidential primary. However, however, some people have also argued that Tenembo's utterances may have also contributed to the issue. Remember what Papa Kande reported to have said about Buhari in his book, My Participations. Also, Tenembo went to Ogu State and said without him, Buhari could not have become president. Like, and also, some other things, out of alliance, like since Buhari became president, he has never begged him for anything. The national chairman of a party, Abdullah Yadamo, even threatened to punish him then. So naturally, one expect the president to be unhappy. Whatever. Whatever. My own is, he does not reduce the price of bread in the market. Whether anybody is supporting him. But the thing is, certainly we all know how it was when Tenobu, I mean, when, um, what's it called, Buhari was coming out to run for presidency, how Tenobu gave him his support. This is to tell you people that... The Northerners, the Northerners, some of these Northerners, especially the Northern politicians, what would they say? I'm not going to say anything. It is now left for these people to use their tongue to count their teeth. Do not blame Bari for Tenembo's woes. Jagaban is too arrogant. He is not fit to lead the nation. And says who? Says who? Now, what's your reason for saying that? Sincerely, I would like to have a question as in. If it's possible, you know why? There are people who support their candidate blindly. If you ask some people why, why Tenobo is not fit, you know, they're not going to. I'm not saying this because it's a lie, you. It is just like you trying to find out the reason behind people's answers. The people do not have, they don't have any reason behind, you know, their, um, how do I put it? They don't have any reason behind some of the things they do. They just do it. I don't just like this person because I don't like him and I don't want him to be the president. That is why I will not get to be surprised. You know, that is how it's going to turn out to be. Okay, Okawa is humble at looting Delta State money and we can see the result. I don't understand. Who is calling Okawa, Okawa's name now? Tenebu claimed to meet Buhari president in 2015. It is his turn to make himself president. 
the die is cast. Yes, so it's like two thieves that were sneaked to the cross with Jesus when the bad one told Jesus to save himself. And then, <laughs> wahala. Bahari can fool us to watch the campaigns. OBJ did it. It is not a big deal. Everything is by choice. President Buhari is just behaving the, the typical f as a Fulani. He never endorsed Tenobu candidacy, and I don't see him moving for him. The Fulanis have their plan, but quite a number of them, like Ganduji and Jigawa governors, are still with him. How I wish Erifai and other governors pitched a tent with Asiwaju, so that the country can have a new lease of life. Mm. Okay, Ohala. Someone who cannot answer questions or speak for himself in a public correctly with gift. He never reached like that, so we are not discussing any of his gifts now. We are not discussing any of his gifts now. But the truth is that, truly, I'm not seeing the president giving him, you know, support. I'm not seeing it. You can compare Ambassador to Buhari. Okay, you cannot compare Ambassador to Buhari. They're not the same. You cannot predict Buhari, but it's very unfair to never have worked for Buhari. Exactly. That is what I'm saying. To never did a lot to for Buhari. Let us say the truth. Hmm? To never did a whole lot when it came to Buhari. He campaigned for him from state to state. He did a whole lot. A whole lot. Okay, to his interest or for their personal and selfish interest. That is what I do not now know. Are these allegations about PMB from Tunubu not true? The fact is that President Muhammad Buhari benefited from Tunubu resources and President Muhammad Buhari is not disposed to Tunubu presidency. Tunubu uses money and political network to bail President Muhammad Buhari out of shame, even in court. But Buhari is displaying and but Buhari is displaying an angry attitude. But if Tunubu lost the election, all the secrets of Buhari government will be exposed, and APC will go into extinction. Do you think that will happen? I don't know. Let's continue to see how this goes. God's way is not man's way. The prophecy is fulfilling. A new Nigerian is around the corner. All things are passed away. The writer is on point. His boss out, his out boss rather, at Abiyakuta the last time before the promise was not good enough. He forced his choice at the primary election. Thank you. Everything the PC is doing is with him now can be likely to eyes having my opinion. Though. Exactly. That is why I have the opinion said then fit run to Nubu Street. Then fit run up street. Do not expect Buhari to leave his full and brother Tiku and support a Yoruba man. Irrespective of whatever happens to Nigeria after his tenure, Fula Denja is topmost on Buhari's mind. Nigeria can break up thereafter. It doesn't matter. But Fula first. Hmm. You have a point, Cha. Okay, on those notes, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.